So with triple negative breast cancer, uh, it's also a very unique subgroup of breast cancers, about 15%. Um, these cancers actually tend to respond to chemotherapy well, but uh, unfortunately patients do eventually don't do that well. Um, therefore, we are trying to be aggressive and treat the patient or treat the disease as much as we can uh, upfront to the best. Um, the uh, NCCN guidelines, ESMO guidelines, recommend third generation chemotherapy with anthracyclines and taxanes in this patient population. In the um, adjuvant setting, we use those agents. However, we uh, want to improve on the disease-free and overall survival, and studies looking at the platinums and other agents and targeted agents are ongoing. In the knee adjuvant setting, again, the standard of care would be androcyclines and taxanes, though there are some prospective studies in triple negative breast cancer looking at the addition of platinums um, and or bevacizumab or even viliparib, one of the other PARP inhibitors. Uh, the CLGB study, for example, showed that the addition of platinum improved the PCR rate, but unfortunately that did not translate into improved disease for survival. Uh, another European study, JEPAR-6, though, uh, looked also at the addition of platinum. Uh, again, the PCR rate was improved, uh, and in that study, unlike the CLGB study, the disease for survival was improved. And a third study uh, that was recently presented by Gazer at the um, ASCO 2017 meeting looked at the addition of uh, platinum and viliparib, the oral PARP inhibitor, to androcyclines and taxanes. And PCR rate was improved with uh, the platinum, but it was not further improved with the addition of viliparib. So kind of putting everything together, it appears that adding platinums to the neadjuvant therapy of triple negative breast cancer improves PCR rates. But in some studies, it translates into disease improvement. In some, it doesn't. So right now, it's still... Um, I think is an option that is discussed in the clinic because it also adds toxicity. And what we see is unfortunately because it adds toxicity that when we add it to the taxanes, for example, we cannot complete all of the planned cycles. So for high risk patients, young patients where we need immediate response, maybe advanced tumors, uh, I think the addition of the platinums makes sense. Uh, but whether it will translate into disease for an overall survival, we have to wait for the uh, longer prospective trials that are powered enough to identify a survival benefit.